Hey guys. Um, <laughs> uh, first of all, check these out. Uh, this is a shirt from Third Degree Berms. The back is really cool. I hope you can see it. Uh, Nathan Mize is the uh, owner and he has a beautiful clutch of hypo green granite whatever I forget what all they were has some beautiful Burmese so be sure to check them out on Facebook uh, third degree berms thank you very much for the t-shirt and uh, look forward to uh, many years of sharing ideas on the breeding industry uh, this one you haven't seen for a while. This is Garrus and the reason you haven't seen him for a while is he's been buggered up because he won't stop pushing thanks to the upcoming breeding season. Okay, now that we got all the formalities out, let's discuss something that has recently come to my attention. Guys, I, I promise you I'm not, no, no, uh -uh, you're not going up. Uh, I'm not picking these topics uh, on purpose to piss people off, but it just so happens that mm, they need to be discussed. And as most of you know, uh, I'm very straightforward on my videos and I like to get a very heartfelt uh, topic out in the open and discussed. So uh, what we're gonna discuss today is I know many of you have received this phone call or private message and it says, um, hey, I've got a five or six or seven year old son, daughter, whatever, and she's wanting a snake really bad. Uh, can you help me get one? No, I'm not gonna do it. Guys, a five year old, uh, six year old, seven year old, whatever, is not old enough to own a snake. I don't care if it's a ball python, a milk snake, whatever. It, it's not gonna happen. It, it's not gonna work, right? We've all seen it. Now, the difference is us as snake owners, uh, and many of y'all, because a lot of my subscribers have retics or, or something. Now, if we have a child, a five-year-old child, we can be proactive in teaching that, per that child the proper husbandry, the proper handling, and teach that child to be a proactive reptile owner. The difference is when you have a couple, and I'm telling you, I've heard this time and time again, I'm scared to death of snakes, but my little boy wants one. What happens? The one thing that suffers is that snake. It's not gonna be cleaned out properly. The child's gonna get sick of it in no time, and you wind up having a sick snake. And then I get a phone call, hey, well, do you want this snake? Uh, my son got tired of it, or it's not eating, or it just, you wind up with a dehydrated snake or a malnourished snake. Uh, I've, I've seen where parents will say, I just don't like feeding it mice. Hoy, what'd you get it for then? It's, it's stupid. Very stupid, and it really aggravates me to see people continue to do this. Unless that parent, now I, I just had one today, and I explained to the person, all right, here's what you're gonna have to do as a parent of a seven-year-old girl who wants a snake. You're gonna have to reach in there and grab a big old slab of poop that's soaked with urine. Are you willing to do that? Uh, Chances are everybody's going to recommend a ball python for this little child because, oh, that's the great beginner snake. And as we all know, ball pythons are snippy. Mm, it's a fact. Okay, so are you willing to... Garris, you're going to have to buy me dinner after this. All right. Um, you're going to have to, quite possibly, you may get bit. Uh, I mean, that's part of owning a snake. I just got bit from a baby 20 minutes ago. All right, it, it's gonna, it, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yeah, there might be people that have been having snakes for years, 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 and never been bit. There's a possibility, yes, I get that. But we all know we may catch the, the child especially. 
may catch that snake off guard or just just reach in and grab it startle it and it may go ahead and snap next thing you know I'm getting a phone call hey do you want this snake it just bit my kid he doesn't want it anymore so if you have someone that approaches you and says hey could you help me find a good snake for my little child yes he's done all the research he, he thinks he knows how to take care of it one people don't realize that it could get expensive especially when you talk about the proper uh, enclosure for any snake uh, feeding it we've discussed this in a video before that the the actual feeding of the reptile is not that bad it's the radiant heat panels it's the lights it's the enclosure that stuff adds up a little bit now is a five-year-old gonna have the money to do that and are the parents willing to spend that kind of money to make their child happy yeah there's gonna be some out there not a problem um, but again a five-year-old child I don't care how passionate that child is eventually they're gonna they're, they may get tired of that snake I, I shouldn't say they're going to but the chances are rather quickly that child's gonna want something else and then what suffers the snake does. We all know how I feel about that. I do not like to see a snake suffer. So, and I don't think any of us do. So when we get approached for that, uh, let's talk about what we need to tell that person that's asking that. Drill them with the questions, okay? Uh, you're thinking about getting your child a snake, all right? Do you know what temperature to keep that snake? Uh, make sure the parent has done the research. Maybe the father is wanting a snake and he's using the child to get his wish through the wife. We've all been there, right? Oh, it's, it's, it's for the kid. Yeah, he, he wants a reticulated python. I know he's three, but he wants a retic. All right, so ask the parent, do you know the temperatures? Do you know what humidity? Do you know what actually is involved in owning this snake? Uh, you know what kind of substrate do you think you should use on it ask the parent this then see if they've done the research if they've done the research and they are being proactive as a possible reptile owner or snake owner chances are maybe you can go ahead and help them but don't let someone say well my child's done all the research I don't give a shit if the child's done it or not have you done it because ultimately, you are going to be the one to take care of that snake when that child gets sick of it or it scares them. If it snaps at them and they think, uh oh, I don't want this damn thing anymore. So guess what? The parents got to take over. So make sure the parents have done the research. This video goes out to all of us as keepers. And we all know snake people, uh, reptile keepers such as ourselves. We kind of like to post pictures on Facebook and on Instagram and YouTube. So people see that and they come to us for questions. So as good snake owners, we have to do our part and be proactive when people come to us for help. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I hope it is a valid uh, video to cover. I feel it is. Uh, like I said, I just had this scenario pop up about 20 minutes ago. And I asked the person, are you willing to pick up poop soaked in urine? Are you willing that the chances you may get bit? Are you going to be able to handle that? Do you know what temperature that snake's supposed to be at? Uh, what about the humidity? Do you know what humidity? All right, so you ask those questions, see if the parent has done their research. Because like I said, ultimately, that's going to be the one to have to take care of this animal. So... Be proactive as reptile owners. If someone comes for help, drill them as well. Uh, like I said, I don't care how much research a five, six, seven-year-old child has done. It doesn't matter to me. If the parent hasn't done research, I say, you know what? Maybe you should start out a little bit different. Maybe a gecko or um, <clears throat> you know, a bearded dragon or something like that. That puts them into that reptile realm and they can eventually, you know, see how they handle that and then eventually possibly get into snakes. But a beardy or a gecko is not going to latch on to them and cause a little bit of blood. 
um, that I know of. Hell, I don't know. Beardies might be vicious. I, I don't know. So, that's my video for today. Um, hopefully that has struck a chord with you guys. And like I said, this is directed to each and every one of you that that uh, own, rep, own snakes. We've all heard it. We've all had people come to us for help. So it is time for us to be proactive as uh, responsible snake owners and make sure that some dipshit doesn't run out and get a ball python for their five-year-old and then two months later come bring you a malnourished dehydrated snake with stuck shed all over it saying I just won't eat do you want this uh, we, we don't know what to do now parents didn't do research so hope that helps hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching hit the like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video and uh, so far, I'm pretty sure my arm is going to fall off, this one right here, because uh, it's been stuck like this the whole video. Oh, well. Say goodbye, Garris. Appreciate it.